In this video, I want to show you how you can use Live Svelte as an alternative to the default Live View DSL. So, what do I mean by that? The default Live View DSL is based on Elixir. So, in this case, we have this uh, Elixir code here. If it's bigger than 15, then show this text. And we have this button increment here, which shows the number on here. So, if I click on here, it's shows bigger than 15 because it's bigger than 15. And so um, we can also use felt instead, instead of this syntax. So how to do it? Uh, we go here, we change the age by a V and to prevent confusion, I'm gonna change it to felt templates. And now uh, we need to change the DSL of course, because that's the entire point of it. So instead of that um, uh, percentage sign stuff, we now can use accolades. And for example, here we can uh, do if, which has the syntax for Svelte, like this, and this will be if, like this. And then we also need to include a number. So since this is a Svelte file, we need a script tag, and we do export let number. So if we save this, it should work. Yeah, so see if it works. Yeah, so it still works. And what's happening here is the number is being passed to Svelte and it catches it here. And we still have the same kind of functionality where it's updating on the server. So it's not client side. So what is the point of this? Um, we can now introduce client side state inside Live View. So let's do that. So let's say we have a number two and we initialize it at five. And then we also have a button that increments that number, number two. But instead of doing it server side, we're going to do it client side. So uh, the way to do it is on click. We're going to create a function that increments the number uh, plus one. And so now if we save this, we have this client side variable. So here is the server running. And you see if I click this, nothing is being updated. But if I click this one, it does update. So this is because it's going over the wire, over the WebSocket. And uh, now we can use this, these two variables and we can combine them. So uh, in Svelte, we have this thing called a computed value. And you can use it like this. So number plus number two. And so now combined is this computed value that is dependent on this one and this one. So Svelte will uh, automatically update this value if this one or this one changes. Uh, so let's see that in action. So uh, I'm going to, just for having a nicer uh, view, I'm just going to do this, uh, combined, and I'm also going to add, uh, just to separate everything. Uh, so this will increment this one, but also increment this one, because this is the combined one, and this will increment this one also. So now we have this server-side and client-side states that we're merging together very easily and uh, let's say on the server this one changes from another event that's coming in then this will uh, this will change this one and it will also change this one right so it's this kind of blend of uh, both worlds so for example now we can also say if combined combined uh, is bigger than 15 uh, then it will change so if I already click this one it will show uh, because 16 is bigger than 15. And uh, so we have all Svelte capabilities here. Uh, it has Tailwind support. So um, uh, for example, if I, let's say, which one do I want to change? Let's say this, uh, like this. So now this one will be black, right? Um, and uh, text white, uh, yeah, like this. Uh, and we also have uh, uh, scoped styling uh, with preprocessors. So what do I mean by that? So preprocessor like uh, stylus, uh, which is a bit like uh, SAS, if you're familiar with that. And uh, uh, scoped styling just means that your styling won't leak to other files. So if I have a button here and I say a background uh, color black, and uh, text, uh, uh, sorry, just color white, and I save this, then 
these buttons they will change and it uses this uh, style of syntax so it works with indentation instead of uh, accolades and um, yeah so this is scoped so uh, if I if I click on this one if I click on this one you will see it has this svelte and then a hash so it means that this specific class is uh, unique to this live view um, and you can also in, uh, include npm packages so this is something that's not so easy with live view so you can go uh, uh we'll go to the, another example so this one is uh, this one i believe yeah so let's take a look um i showed this one in my previous video so you can remove elements and uh you can add some elements add some news events and it will it will uh add it yeah it will add it to the bottom and um you can also make this faster and slower so if i click on this bunch of times this will be faster um but to make this kind of thing work here you need this marquee element that is a package an npm package which i imported and it is inside uh live view so this is all one file you don't need to have another file um and so you can really combine the server side state with this client side state inside one single file uh which is really really cool um so i, I quickly wanted to show that um i hope you liked the video if you have any questions please leave a comment and thank you for watching.